using the sample superstore data, find which product is ranked sixth in sales for West region. So you can see I've already connected uh, the sample superstore data set. And in this case, I'm going to show you two ways you can answer this question. One way and the simplest way is uh, you can drag, let's say, product name to the rows. Let's show all the products. And next, I'm going to drag the cells to the view and sort the view in descending order by cells, simply to show the products with the IA cells at the top here. And lastly, I'm going to filter this view uh, using the dimension region. So right click on region and filter the view. And in this case, I'm going to select uh, the West region. And now from this view, because the view is already sorted in descending order by cells, you can see that the sixth product uh, is Okidata MB76 printer. If in case you find this view a little bit difficult for you to interpret, you can add uh, the table calculation index, which will be returning uh, the position of every product on this table. And to do that, simply create a calculated field. Let me just call it um, index. And I'm going to use the function index. So this is the function which I'm going to use. Let me expand it so you can see it. And let's add it uh, first of all to the view here so that I can convert it to discrete, then add it uh, right before the product name. And now being guided by this index, you can be able to see uh, the sixth product is Okidata MB760 printer. So that is one way and actually the simplest way to answer that question. The other way you can answer that question is by creating a, a set. So to do that, uh, first of all, I'm going to right click on the product name and create a, a set. Let me just call this set uh, top six products by sales. And I'm going to use the third submenu that is top. And under by field, I'm going to change this one to be six because I'm interested on the top six uh, products by, so let me change this one to sales, which is aggregated by some. So this set basically contains the top six products by sales. And let's build our view first by dragging, let's say product name to the rows, add all members. And next, I'm going to drag uh, cells to the text. Let's sort the data in descending order. And I'm going to add, uh, in this case, um, the set that I've created, that is the top six products by cell set to the filters. And now you can see these are the top six products by cells for the entire data. But remember, in our case, we are interested uh, on a certain region, that is the West region. And what I'm going to do is simply add a filter, in this case, a region filter. So right click on region, show filter, and I'm going to select the West region. But now what you're going to see is that W is returning only three products instead of the sixth product for this particular region. And this is because of what we call the tableau order of operations or rather the order in which filters are executed in Tableau. And this is how filters are executed in Tableau. At the top, we have the extract filters followed by data source filters, context filters, dimension filters, measure filters, and lastly, we have the table calculation filters. So for this case, you can see that we have two filters. We have first the dimension filter, that is the region filter because region is a dimension. And also we have the set filter, uh, that is the top six products uh, by cells uh, set. And therefore, looking at this order of tablet operations, you can see that the set will be executed before the dimension filter. And therefore, for us to correct uh, this problem that we are facing here, what we can do is uh, we can promote this dimension filter to become a context filter so that it gets executed first, and then the set filter is applied on the data that goes through the context. And to do that, simply come uh, to the filter here, that is the dimension filter, open this drop-down uh, menu, 
and add it to context. And by doing that, uh, you will be promoting that filter to become a context filter, which means it's going to be executed first. Then the set will be applied on the data that goes through the context. And by doing that now, you can see uh, the top six uh, products by cells for the current selection on the filter that is West. And you can see that the sixth product, uh, just like in the previous case, is Okidata MB760 printer. And basically that's how you could have answered that question. Thanks everyone.